yes my beautiful youtube family once again i'm here guys like ta -da! <laughs> so now i'm just laying you know so i'm just laying with my nails my yellow and black okay and i'm just laying with my nails my yellow and black okay what i'm gonna do is to plug in to plug in okay i'm gonna plug you in okay so that at least maybe you might you might or may visit you know these are my mails like hizi ni haya ni eh haya ni makucha ya kwangu hizi ni makucha zangu so what we did is we just did a builder gel and then we applied the gel on top so si ati kuna kuna vitu zingine hapa pana it's just builder builder gel and then with the, these are my nails like really this burundian guy is a hit okay anajua kazi anafanya like I'm going to plug you in by the way. So anyway, today we are not going to discuss about nails. Um, we are approaching the election period and uh, most of us, we don't know what to do. What you're supposed to do is, I'm going to pick a kurama manani. Okay? So anyway, that one aside, for those who have been following me, thank you so much. May God bless you. For those who have been supporting me, Thank you so much. Mubarikiwe sana, 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 sana. Tena zaidi ya vile unavyo jua. So now today we are going to discuss about something that has been there with us. Lakini tumekata kukubali. Okay? Tumekata kukubali ya kwamba hii ni mambo ambayo ya nafanyika. Hizi ni vitu ambazo tunakumbana nazo kila siku. But we have refused, like totally refused to adhere to this thing. So today we are going to discuss about things we wish we knew before moving in uh, in our partner's home. Things we wish we knew before moving in our partner's home. Watu wengi, ama wengi wetu, wakati inafika ya kwamba we are moving in together. Me and my mubabas, or mubabas and your mumama. Mumea mwasasa imefika wakati you want to move in together. Kuna vitu you never knew. Right now you're like, I really wish I knew these things. Now me, I just compiled some few, like around 11 points that, that are very... very Ninyingi, but there are over a thousand billion reasons we wish we knew before moving in. But mimi nimeleta tu zile kumi na moja zenye ziko, ziko, yani ziko na uzito. You understand? Ziko na kauzito fulani. Ile uzito enye uwezi ipata tu. Like, ukizisikia hizi reason, you'll be like, yeah, uyu mama kuna vinya naungea. So now, wenye, ha, wenye wana plan ku move in together. You are in a relationship and you're like, it's now fit for us to move in together. And stay as husband and wife or girlfriend and boyfriend. Unajua kuna watu wa wanaishi, they are not married. They can sire children, but they are not married. Okay, but you have decided to move in. Now, these are the things, let us discuss these things, okay? The things that we wish. I know you can you can put in in the comment section what you really wish you knew before moving in. So, this I know he na yo itaguza kila moja wetu mwenye ananisikiza leo. So, number one is... Uh, individual finance, uh, financial habits. Usishangai kwa nina angalia chini. Because I am reading. <laughs> I am reading what I came about with. Okay? It's not easy to put all these things in my head. You know, zingine ni taribu waribu. So, number one is individual financial habits. Mimi ni kona financial habits zangu. My mubaba akona financial habits zake. Kivyake. Mimi naweza kuwa labda si mtu mwenye niko uh, like it's all about unga ugali unga ya chapati mchele maragwe you know I, I'm, I'm not that kind of a person who is hyper like so hypersensitive when it comes to money but mbaba wangu wako so hypersensitive akiona hii kitu anataka akiona ile anataka ama labda mimi ni mama mwenye i change my bedroom every single month my sitting room my viambos you know like, mimi nataka tuendenge out every Saturday. Mubaba does not know about that. Afadhali mkaipale kwa balcony, you have your kawain kidaga, you know, take some photos here and there and be like, yeah, the day is done for the weekend. Sunday tunaenda kanisani, tunarudi kwa nyumba. Mimi ni ule mtuwa wee, bu Sunday tutoke kanisani, tuende tu, tu, tu kulenya machoma mahali. You know, those are the kind of financial habits we are talking about. Kuna mtu mwenye, kwa hiyo relationship, akona faina, akona... Akona habits zile za, mimi after every week I have to send my mama something, my papa something. I have a sister who needs financial help. 
Na kuna huyu mwenye yeye na madada zake na madugu zake it's mafuta na uh, na maji. Hawapatani so kila mtu mind their own financial issues. Okay? Nobody assist any other person. So it's on your financial habits me usema. So mimi I really wish I knew the individual financial habits. Kabla kabla u moving. Hizi masiku kadhaa zenye mnafanya paka na panya Tom, Tom and Jerry games. Eh? Learn each other's person eh, eh, habits za finances okay kama ni mtu mchoyo jua tu ni mtu mchoyo wakati unaingia na eh, jua tu ni mchoyo like huyo mtu ni mchoyo tu naturally pesa yake haioni jua ikiona jua kutanyesha so wakati una move in ukaige tu ukijua ni huko mambo ya pesa ni food wise hizi vitu zingine it's either you have to take responsibility ama ukimuuliza jua atakupea 30% of what you've asked. So, wakati unajua financial habits za mtu, inakuanga raisi sana ku manuva na mse. You understand? Ehe. Another thing is daily budget like couples. Mimi, uh, mimi ni mtuwa daily budget. Okay, like daily, okay, kuna ile nye nafanya ya mwezi mzima kama sukari, chumvi, you know, hizi mavitu kama maharagwe, mandengu, lakini kuna zile vitu za daily, daily habits. Na kuna wengine, me I have a friend, who does not completely do daily uh, b b e, daily budget yeye hata kienda supermarket afadhali aenda nunue tomato pests nyingi he w she will never go and buy nyanya in the market kitungu anaenda kwa zile duka zenye zinauza herbal ananunua white onion ananunua red onion powdered gal yeye hana wakati wa kwenda sokoni kutafuta ma garlic ma ginger mm -mm. Yeye spices zake ana yani vitu zake anatoka tu supermarket za mwezi mzima na tunamalizana hiyo story. Maziwa na nunua mapaketi na mapaketi mapaketi malita na malita malita anaweka kwa fridge. Unaona wale wa, watu wenye wako na ma fridge zinakaa makabati. Hao sasa. Yani ukifungua fridge yake utadhani hii ni camp. Camp meeting iko pale ya chakula. Yani it is just disastrous. So unaona watu kama hao ni watu tofauti. So unapata kama mimi mbaba wangu ni mbaba wa hiyo tabia. Pesa ngapi 50,000 for what? For the whole month thing. Wendo ununue manyama uishi kuweka kwa fridge. Na mimi ni muluya. Mimi nataka tu niende ni chukwe kuku yangu nione kikatwa damu. Ni beba ane na ayo. Ni kuja na ayo kwa nyumba ni pike. Mimi ni ule mtu mwenye nataka niona ni kikatiwa kanyama if you understand. Eh? Lakini ya ni mtu wa enda, enda, enda butcher. Eh, pick the plastic. Hizo uh, plastic whatever ama those. Hizo vitu za kuwekelea chakula. Ndo uweke kwa fridge. Uko kwa mafriza. Uende upange nyama 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 kwa wiki tunakula mara ngapi mara mbili. So we have 4 weeks. Sawa sawa. 4 weeks. Kwa 4 weeks you are supposed to buy 8 pieces of meat. Kilo ngapi ngapi? Ama kiasi gani gani? 300 300 300. Anakupea pesa. Enda nunua, wekewa manyama mbili mbili kwa wiki unawekewa pale. Kazi yako ni kudefrost. Samaki yule mama wa samaki, sasa samaki haindangi kwa kwa kununua kwa, kwa kwa supermarket kuna mama wa samaki analeta samaki zile zenye mbichi unawekewa ngapi kwa wiki mnakula samaki mara ngapi mara moja moja unawekewa you know like that like that vegetables zake zinanunuliwa kama zisha seti mimi nakwambia kuna wababu kundi that is my mubaba lakini mimi naye ni nani mimi nataka niwe naenda sokoni na kibeti mama nani naenda sokoni na kibeti naenda kununua vitu zangu manyanya zangu naenda kuchagua naenda kushikashika manyanya za wenyewe ma vitungu za wenyewe madania nikijipimia nikitingisha hivi nikijua gani mzee you know like that ka feeling of doing a daily budget hey if you do not know individual daily budgets my friend you are going to you will be like what, what did I even engage myself in? So, before you ushike zo miguzako, uweke inje, uende, uwaanze kukaa na mtu, jua daily budget zao ni gani. Kama ni mtu wakushiaga kila siku, jua ni mtu wakushiaga kila siku, so that when you enter in, isikuwa ya kwamba, oh, mimi na chukianga kushiaga kila siku, ulijua before you moved in. Number three, splitting of cost. Na hiyo watu wamekataa sana wanasema tu mwanaume ajue yeye ndiye analipa rent anafanya budget. Pesa ya mumama ni ya kutake of matumizi hapa na pale. Now listen to me. Uh, mimi uh, when I knew my baba I uh, he uh, he's a person who be like gives you a platform where by you express yourself when it comes to finances. You know, he's a man that have come to admire so much whereby uh, Ni mtu mwenye anakupea priorities, babe. Uh, 
tunaka unakava nini this man unaona mtu mwenye amnaongea na yeye anakwambia mna mimi namwambia kama hii mwezi wacha nikushike rent hiyo pesa ingine tupampini kwa biashara you understand ama aseme hii mwezi wacha nishike rent na vitu zote za nyumba wewe fanya shopping ya nyumba alafu anakwambia hii do uko naye tosha kama itoshi utaniambia nikusukumie you know ama saa zingine unapata anakwambia wacha nisikilie kila kitu hii mwezi i'm sending you rent and all the accessories ya rent <laughs> that is majesty ma wifi bla 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 and then uh, i'm also sending you some cash for your shopping and taking care of yourself okay so that is a kind of a relationship we want so for me before i came into this uh, this my relationship currently kitambo mimi siko anajua kuna kuangana vitu kama hizo you know splitting of cost kwani si ni mbaba wa nyumba si ajibebe you understand and then when you have a relationship where people don't talk their finances issues utaujiongelesha peke yako so me came into this relationship and i'm like yeah this is what i've been missing all my life eh This is what I've been missing. Somebody mnaweza kana eti ni mupange. So splitting of cost is is a very minute thing but it's very heavy to some relationship. So before you move in, tafadhali know that you need to understand if we are splitting cost ama kila mtu abebe mzigo yake. That is also dangerous. Aha. Number four is a, a what of joint account. Wengi wao wanasema eh hey, joint account na vile relationship wazikai. Wewe wakati unaingia kwa relationship Mbona usiseme tu relationship yangu wacha ikae idumu. Mbona we ni yule mtu wa negativity tu? Ati eh hey, mimi relationship aki. Mimi siwezi fungua joint account. He, mtu anaweza sanya pesa zangu. Atakusanyaje pesa zako and we need both signatures for us to withdraw that cash. Okay? Now listen. Joint account is very nice. Mimi by the way, mimi I really wish I knew. Lakini anyway, hapo kitabu nilikuwa ngatu na mbaba mstingi, just a stingy man in nature. Anyway, but currently I discovered like you can achieve so much when you have a joint account like you push yourself to the limit like for us kuna ile amount to me set on a monthly basis we are supposed to achieve so to sipo achieve we have to recover that money as soon as possible because both of us are working we tunamka asubuhi tunaenda kibarua okay mwisho wa mwezi tuko na bills lakini we have to push ourselves to the limit in a manner that we have to achieve our target on a joint account because we need to buy lands we need to build we need to do to 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 to, to make sure that our business inafunguliwa from one place to another one place to another you understand so to, unajipata in a manner that mm, joint account is also nice kuna wale wenye wapendi so before you go into a relationship ask huyu mubaba before you move into somebody's house kuna wanaume wenye wanapenda tukae na mabibi zetu tuonge mambo ya kipesa So hao ndio wanaume wenyewe wanakuambia babe we can open a joint account so that maybe we can do we can have a specific goal as to as the reason as to why we want to do the joint account okay so akwambie tunataka tununue lands kama mbili ama tatu place flani 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 na flani alafu kwa hizo places tatu tunaweza uza hizo land wakati bei ita kwa appreciate sawa sawa and out of those lands we want a home for us So unajua unaka pale unaona huyu mwanaume ako na vision. Joint account does not mean ya kwamba mmoja ni mwizi, mwingine ni mpokeaji ama mwingine ni mwizi, mwingine ni wakupeana hapana. Okay? So remember joint account also has an issue. Before you move in with somebody, make sure you discuss about the joint account. Aha. Number five, communication in respectful manner. Uh, mimi I really wish I knew this thing before I moved in uh, uh, in our in my former in my former relationship whereby communication in a respectful manner is key okay it is very very key kuna watu wa wanasema oh mimi mbaba wangu ajani save babe kwa simu ajani save darling and then you are like kila saa mna, mna vurugana, kuna hiyo issue wa mnaleta okay you need to have a communication that is is is, is respectful wakati mnavurugana let 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 nobody know ya kwamba nyumba ya chichi kume, kumewaka moto just minute thing mnaenda mnaleta visirani mnaleta vituko it's not good you understand it's, 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 it's not even fair hmm? learn to communicate in a manner that eh, 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 unapenda maongezi yenu ya heshima okay maongezi ya heshima ni mzuri lakini when you don't have maongezi ya heshima i'm telling you hakuna madio relationship yenu inaenda mtakwamia tu hapa because if, if if the only thing is shouting to each other the only thing is fighting the only thing is mtu anakuuliza swali sorry and you're like ah 
Audibu, like you don't feel the reason as to why you should answer that. But just answer that person. Whether it's just a silly question, there is a reason why. Kama mimi ni kona mazoya, ni kiona mbaba wangu wa metulia, ni namuliza just a silly question. So that I think I need to bring him to, to like, atoke kwa yu mawazo, akuja juwe tuko watu wawili kwa nyumba. You understand? So I will bring that ka stupid, you know, that ka silly silly communication and be like, Bebu nanuliza nina. And I'm like, yeah, I wanted you to concentrate. You are in the house, you are not in the business there. So communication in a respectful manner is key. Muki gombana, mujo vile muna gombana, muki ongeleshana, mujo mkona. Muna ongeleshana kama watu wazima, sio kutuwa nishana mahasira. Ah, 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 apana. Number six is talk about boundaries. And that one is very key before you move in. So before you move in, uh, like uh, you need to talk about the boundaries. Kuna mali mtu waneza fika na kuna mali mtu wawezi fika na kupita. Okay? Kama kuna, see, before, before we met, kuna, kuna my past, my past, uh, my past history I had, I had already told you. And when we are having some conversation, unanza kuleta vitu zangu za past, unanitukana nazo. Unanza, mimi pia analeta vitu zako za past na kutukana nazo. You know, those, th those are the boundaries we are supposed to watch, okay? Boundaries we are supposed to watch. Kuna mambo pia ya simu, okay? Wakati unaingia kwa hiyo relation, before wingie ndani muanze kuishi. Jua ya kwamba simu yangu ni simu yangu, simu yako ni simu yako, okay? Na, 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 na kama kuna ile u, 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 uaminifu. Okay, kuna ile uaminifu, hakuna ukora kwa relationship, you are free to leave your phone. You are free to allow your woman or your man to even take your phone and be calling, you know, babe, sina credit, can I use your phone? It is a yes. Okay, so hizo ndo vitu zenye, muna staili kuset. Kuna boundaries, usishike simu yangu na misishiki simu yako. So that we just live like neighbors when it comes to phones. Lakini kuna wale wenye kama mimi, I can use my husband's phone, my husband can use my phone because... Mimi by there kuna kitu mi uficha, ni nini na ficha, kitaka kupata na naa pata netu na ayo. Ni nini sijawai muambia, you know. And then he knows I'm, I'm, I'm into a sales and marketing field. Automatically people will be sending me texts, hi beautiful, thank you I got your mzigo, I got, you know, I got my mzigo, you know. So for him is like he understands my profession and he knows that I cannot cheat, okay. Cheating is not in me, uh -uh. Tulitoka huko kitambo, tuka hapa ya kwamba maraindo wazetu lazima zidumu. Mambo ya kudanganyana na mambo ya nini tumeachia huko watu wa enzi za kitambo. So boundaries should set them. Number eight is this, accept each other's habits. <laughs> Sasa kuna hii ha habit, yenye mtu anasema, like, mimi, uh, 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 kuna yule tu mtu mwenye haonangi ishu when he pollutes the air when, when, when both of us are around. It's, it's just a normal thing. You understand? It's not, as long as the kids are not in the house. You know, you can, and then kuna wale wenye, kuna hizi habits zenye mtu anapenda nasema, eh, eh, maybe akilala, there is that snoring. That is also another habit. Aya, kuna hizi habits zingine zenye, uh, maybe, I don't know, like kukula, you understand? Like, mi upenda kula kula. Mze wangu understands my habits, like, mimi, Sahani ni mimi na sahani. Mimi ni rafiki ya sahani. So when you understand each other's habits, it will be so easy for you to live like friends in the house. Like it's not a big deal at guy na udemsi ya nakula sana. Haya, kwani ulikuwa unaniyawa unijenge na mbao? Ama unijenge na mamiti? Unijenge na matofari na makuni? Hapa ana ana jenge kana sa chakula? So because you know mwili yangu inajengwa na chakula, so it's not about bibi yangu anakula sana. We baba nani wachana nayo. Eh ama mzee wako unajua anakulanga gorogoro moja. Hiyo ndio habit yake. Mpa, mpakulie chakula gorogoro mzima umweke pale. So easy habits zina by the zina kwanga mzuri zinasaidia sana, okay? Aya, number nine is be aware of each other's mental health. Ah uh, Make sure you know each other's health. Kuna watu, like when you are, uh, when we are in a relationship, and unajua when, when you've decided, like I'm moving in, you know, that one is a marriage thing. You are moving into someone's apartment. Or you guys are moving into, into apartment that you have chosen and you're deciding to live like one accord. Guys, listen, you have, you are supposed to know each other's health. Okay? Kuna watu ni wagonjwa, kuna watu wakona, wakona diabetes, uh, kuna watu wenye wakona... Wako na magonjwa tu maybe blood pressure, maybe wako na magonjwa, maybe hearing problem. You know, like, there is, kuna tu maambo tu, ma, magonjwa, magonjwa, I cannot mention all of them because zingina tamisi zijui kwa majina and I'm not a doctor. So, um, when you know each other's mental health is good because at least utakona mkumbusha bebu jameza dawa. You understand? Like, babe, you need to go for a clinical checkup. Last month ukuenda, hii mwezi make sure umenda. So kuna ile muna kumbushana, kuna ile muna chocheana, you understand? And then you start living healthy. You understand? So, 
knowing each other's mental health is good. And then this mental health is not all about body. Mentally, akili, hakili, akili ya mutu. Hakili ya mutu. Ni mzuri kujua. Kuna wale watu hupandwa na pressure. Ukimuongelesha tu matope. Akili yake ina papa 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 papa. Ina babo nuno na mpaka mwili na respondi na toa sweat aneza kukubomoa. So once you understand them mentally, it's also good. Sawa sawa. Uh -huh. Number 10 is you will get uh, on, uh, you know that you will get on each other's nerve. So hapa ndiyo watu huwa wanasema, mimi siku jua, uyo mwanaume ni mkali, uyo mwanaume ata kitu kidogo, tunakosana. Know that from today as you are moving in together, you will, you will get into each other's nerves. Yani iyo oh, mama nani? Hiyo ni lazima mutaingile, mutakorofisha. Hakuna nga ndoa enye just, it's just a rosemary thing. Ay, uwe, hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hakuna nga rosemary, hakuna rosemary mama nani. Kuna tu vile mutakorofisha na. Kidogo tu amewacha slippers pale na likuwa najua lazima hache kwa bafu. Aminda nazo sitting room, mutavuruta na utamuza. Gai, kwani ukitoka bathroom huko unajua umacha sandals zako. You know like, eh, umetuwa mbo umetupa kwa bed. Kwa nukua na bin, you know, hizo ndio vitu. Yani mutaingiana, vitu kidogo mutakorofisha na. Eh, anatoa joke unona ni kama mikutukana munaza kukorofishana so know that you will have to get into each other's nerves iyo ni kawa ida sawa sawa the last thing is decide which way to put uh, the toilet paper now this one I did it the last one because I wanted to tell you something me uh, I'm the person who is like um, bathroom lazima iku unona pale kwa cho Uneka kuna ile stand ama kando kuna uneza ika ile, ile bathroom cab cabinet whereby you can put in the tissues. Oh? And then uh, kuna ile moja tu inakanga pale kando ya kacho. So that kakiisha, you don't have to strain. Unaipecha tu mkono hivyo, unachukua tissue unaweka. So uh, deciding which way <laughs> to put the tissue papers is this, the toilet papers. Me, my mubaba likes, like um, he doesn't want the cabinet to be there. Okay? Uh, he likes me putting, unona Easter, Easter dina kwanga kwa washing machine, eh? yenye uneza panga masabuni. Ye usema tissue ziwe kwe pale. So I'm like zikwe kwa pale, and then our, our bathroom is, is in a manner that sometimes uneza oga, maji ineza splash pale. Yani kuna tu vile hiko kitapu kimeundwa, kina splashing tu maji mpaka pale kwa cho. So mi umuambia tukiweka pale, utapata tissue paper zina loa maji. For, ya yeah, nasema tu, apana. Tafuta mali pazuri, the top, the top one. So I'm like, sasa unona tunavurutana. Tuweke wapi tishu. Mi I'm like, babe, wacha tuweke hii tishu hapa. Because hapa kando, na bafu ikupale. Eh, apa kwa hii cabinet, hata tuke kandani. It's, it's no big deal. You just sit on the, so umeka kwa cho. Vuruta tuka bati toa tishu. Kama imeisha pale kwa mali pa kufuzungoshia. Ya yeah, naniambia pana. Apo kabati ya pana. Toa hiyo kabati ya apo. Haikai vizu. So unona. <laughs> so tuna, tunavurutana. Haya tuweke wapi toilet paper basi. Haya, tuweke wapi, tuweke tu moja, ikiisha, mtu watembe, ka, kama imeisha, tuwanze kutaftana na matishu wapi. So, unona tunakorofisha. So, at the end of it all, inabidi, inabidi, kwa hiyo stand ya, ya washing machine, kuna ile nyiko kwa bafu. I have to put on the basket, na zikuwe na tishu ndani, pale. So, you know, it's also, it's kind of crazy how men sometimes tunavurutana na wao on a minute thing. So, ask yourself, nyinyi mmesha vurutana kusiana tuna tishu pepa? Ama toilet paper like, mumesha wai. Mimi nakwambia ni mewai. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Okay. So that is it. The doors of today is all about things I wish I knew me before moving in my partner's home. What about you? What are these things? What are these things that you really wish? Now you are, you are in that house, but you really wish. You really wish. Hmm? Ata kuna ile wengine wanavurutana juu ya saidi ya kitanda. Tuweke huku, yangalie huku. Yangalia huku. So unapata haa. Kila mtu. Okay babe. Waya. Hii mwezi yako itangalia wapi. Aya. Next month yangu itangalia huku. So unapata haa. Muna vrutana ku. Hata maliviti zinakaa sitting room. People do that. Okay. So anyway. Uh, I don't know. According to you. Maybe you can put it on my comment section. is also good. So that we see. And we understand that you are interacting and communicating. Sawa sawa. So what are the things you wish you knew before you moved into your partner's apartment or home and thank you so much guys for listening to me it has been a pleasure interacting with you it has been a pleasure just you guys supporting me here in youtube and i really really thank you so much if you have not subscribed guy remember you need to subscribe you need to help your mama in the house so thank you so much until next time